Welcome everyone. Um, this is the relationship series. My name is Gina Fatero. I am a 36 year old uh, woman who lives in the Toronto district area. Um, I come with a lot of passion and insight and intent to be vulnerable with um, where I have come from and to share that with you. Hi, my name's Sam Spatero. Uh, this is my sister, Gina, and I'm 42 years old. I have three children. Uh, I have a wife. Uh, I live in Toronto, Ontario as well. I've pretty much always been a practical psychologist since I was a little child. I've always been trying to solve problems and here we are today um, with the relationship series with something that I'm very passionate about because we come from a very... Uh, passionate and strong um, family structure. Uh, we're third generations down that we will discuss later on, but we're really excited to uh, uh, share with you our visions. Absolutely. Um, and to really go a little bit further with the intent, um, I mean, through 36 years of my life, I would be lying to you if I came with nothing or nothing valuable to share because I've lived, I've lost and I've hurt and I've loved and um, to be able to know that you can resonate with people on a human level makes all the difference and knowing that you do resonate with people you see the growth within yourself um, you ask questions you learn you um, come with the challenge of wanting to be better and knowing how to do that and that is part of the intent with this channel is to help you know that you're not alone, that maybe some of the things that we have experienced and have grown from that you can resonate with and possibly better within your life and your relationships. That's great, Gina. And um, kind of the purpose and Ted that my sister and I talked about um, is, you know, I've been with my wife for, oh God, now 18 years. And there's been accumulation of uh, things that have happened in our relationship, I still never had the answers. I still struggled. And I'm someone who suffered uh, with anxiety since a very young age. And it came pretty uh, strong about a few years ago when my best friend died. And not only was I dealing with that, but I was dealing with relationship stuffs and having kids and business and a house. And it just started to compile uh, so many unanswered uh, questions that I had. And it got to the point where I felt um, not like giving up, but very insignificant in my life. Um, very disconnected. Um, I had a lot of anger and resentment. My purpose uh, with starting this with my sisters, we both come from different dynamics. Um, my sister comes from a long-term relationship where um, there's a child and I come from uh, um, uh, a, a marriage with uh, three children but also come from different culture backgrounds. You know, my wife is Caucasian, I'm Italian. We have different beliefs about what family should be, what we should do, what we shouldn't do. And so the whole purpose of this is uh, we've discovered some strategies that we've came up with um, that are, we believe are really gonna work. Yep, and I uh, would have to agree, um, you know, if you would have asked me probably 10 years ago where I saw my life, I would have probably pegged a fairy tale scenario for you. Um, I would have been married. I would have had children of my own. I would have had, you know, a white picket fence and house filled with, you know, my loved ones. Um, but my love comes in different forms now. And it doesn't mean that it's better or worse. It's just, it is. And I've appreciated my life at this moment and I, I pay gratitude for all of the lessons along the way and you know I really would have to say that probably a year and a bit ago I really started to understand that you know my life is happening for me and I am so grateful that it happened this way so um, you know if we detach ourselves from you know what we envisioned and thought our lives should look like and we really pay gratitude for what it stands for right in this moment and if you can appreciate the lessons you know your relationships will grow stronger and you'll have so much more meaning the goal and mission from all this is we've accumulated a lot of strategies and we have a lot of talks because we're very open like that and 
we've had a mother who has always gone against the grain with her beliefs, um, even at a time when it wasn't common. And she kind of opened up this platform for us to kind of look at things from, you know, half glass full perspective. Our goal and mission is pretty much to share some timbits with you of things that we've come up with that have really changed our um, relationship dynamic. Um, and we're gonna have basically talks about some basic common um, things that maybe you're struggling with, like maybe feeling it's significant, uh, why your husband doesn't communicate. Uh, it could be as simple as, you know, why it takes forever for your girlfriend or wife to tell a story. Um, it could also be uh, a dynamic as, uh, as, you know, having different families and, you know, how like, you know, they're trying to push their beliefs on you and, you know, being with somebody who in myself, I've always, you know, been on this mission of self-exploration and self-growth and, you know, with someone who doesn't put a lot of time and energy into that and really just learning to hone in on accepting people for, uh, especially in a relationship for who they are. And one thing I, uh, that uh, our mission, our goal will be is to really help you understand that everything that's missing in your relationship that you think is coming from your partner is actually a reflection of what's missing in you. Mm -hmm. If I can help you avoid breakup, divorce, a financial, um, you know, calamity, you know, depression, mental health, so many different things that, um, that can be prevented. If you really understand the tools and dynamics of what you're given between your head, your mind, your heart, your soul, your spirit, we're gonna go into such deep dynamics of like the science behind who we are, what we are, why we do what we do, and then the real solutions behind what you can do to change your life. So that being said, uh, we look forward to um, hearing from you as well. So please comment and like and hit the notification bell. Um, Whatever questions you have, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments and those will potentially be our platform to create conversations. So uh, we're grateful for your listening and your attention and hopefully you find some, um, you know, takeaways from our series.